As promised earlier in the week, we can now have a look at the leaked benchmarks for the RX 6800 XT, one of the big Navi cards. This is the one from the AIBs, which is where the leaks have come from. And we now have multiple places reporting scores and they're all a bit different. And that goes to show that multiple add-in board partners are now leaking. I'll get onto that, but first a couple of other bits of information. We also have an alleged leak of a 6800 board from an engineering sample, which you can see on the screen now. Sadly, as reported by videocards.com, the chip is covered, so we can't actually see what's there and we can't see any memory modules. So limited information, but nice to see something out in the wild. Two other little bits of information before we move on to the main event. The Ryzen 5 5600X has scored extremely well in Passmark single threaded score putting it at the top of the stack for single core performance and you can see this on the chart on screen. The other bit of info is a rumour that Nvidia are now planning a possible card that sits between the 3070 and 3080 after cancelling the doubled up RAM variants of those GPUs. This card would be running 7424 CUDA cores and feature a 320 bit memory bus much like the 3080 and 3090 but that is just a rumour for now. So let's get down to it. The 6800XT performance has leaked for synthetic benchmarks from 3DMark. Multiple locations have now shared this leaked data, which have all come from different sources it looks like, because they're all slightly different numbers, but within the same range. So many thanks to videocards.com for collating all the information so far, as you can see in this chart. Now, more specifically moving on from that chart, let's have a look at Igor's data. So Igor of Igor's lab shared the following charts, which give a bit more detail showing both the score, which you can see, and then I'll switch it so you can now see the percentages. As you can see, what we're seeing here is some very impressive scores from the big Navi of the 6800. However, when we're getting down to it, and putting on ray tracing, we're seeing that dip. And as I've mentioned before, and many other people have mentioned before, this is where AMD are probably going to struggle a little bit because it's their first generation of ray tracing cards. So I'm not surprised to see it's dropped off a bit. What is nice to see is that it's still above the 2080 Ti. So that's really good. I think that's definitely a win for AMD. Moving on, WCCF Tech also posted these results, which are similar to Igor's. Again, their table shows both scores and percentages. And then CapFrameX, a developer of a benchmark utility, posted this tweet alleging that the big Navi would offer 8% better performance than the 3080 in 3D Mark. And finally, a leak by at Kitty Yuko, who's previously had confirmed leaks under a different name, can be seen here in this chart created by at Harukes5719 who kindly put it into a nice chart. So multiple sets of numbers which are fairly similar. Obviously we don't know how this translates to in-game frame rates but this is promising for AMD and as expected it's struggling more with ray tracing performance however it does beat the 2080 Ti in this regard so I would take that as a win for AMD. Yes, they might not be able to match ray tracing performance with Nvidia this generation, but to get where they have is a big step up from the RDNA 1 cards. RDNA 2 is looking very promising. Now we just need to see what these run like in games and also what other software they're going to put out with it. Do they have a version of DLSS, for example? Well, we only have less than a week to find out more of this information. So watch this space. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Please like, share and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, please let me know why down below in the comments. I really appreciate the feedback. Have a great day.